If you're on the streets of Khartoum, you might see the painted images of anti-government protesters killed in clashes with security forces. Now, the woman behind the paintings is Asil Diab, a Sudanese graffiti artist who says that painting victims is her way of honoring them. On the streets of Khartoum, Asil Diab paints images of anti-government protesters killed in clashes with security forces. She says her art helps unite people. And once I start painting uh, a martyr in the streets, people as well, the audience, um, they stop and ask as well. And like I said, it connects me with the families and the families with the public. And there's an immediate connection between everyone that walks by the, the artwork. Diab, who lives in Qatar, returned to her homeland earlier this year. She planned to join the demonstrations, but that changed after she heard about the protesters who had died. And once I got here, I heard a lot of stories about the martyrs, and it was very emotional, and I just knew that I had to do something about that. Diab started visiting the families of protesters who were killed. Then she began painting their portraits at the memorial on the walls of the buildings where they once lived. Regarding the painting that Asil painted, actually for me it renewed the memory of Abdulazim becoming a martyr. Whenever I see this painting, I feel that Abdulazim is still here with us. Diab's work now includes depictions of people killed in earlier confrontations, like Adila Mustafa's son, Mus'ab who was killed in 2013. When this painting was made, I wasn't there. Then I came and I was surprised. For me, yes, it's a painful memory. My nerves were tense and I cried. Anti-government protests broke out late December over bread price hikes and fuel shortage. Since then, at least 50 people have been killed. Pioneer of Sudan's modern art, Rashid Diab, no relation, says Asil Diab's work is empowering the protest movement. Freedom of expression in painting is very important. It gives the actual value to the Revolutionary Act. It fuels the Revolutionary Act. It increases its power, fame and importance. It creates the pillars of a future civilized presence. As Diab prepared to leave Sudan, she expressed hope that the next time she returns, there will be no more protest victims to honor. Naba Muhiddin for VOA News, Khartoum. Wow. Such That's nice, really inspiring. That is amazing Art painting. Art is powerful, right there. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you, see, you know, the way people can connect to the diff different ways, you know, painting and, you know, just art, art and is great. We were talking great. about visual imagery. I think that yes. is such a powerful yes. medium to send the message of what people yes, truly another went form through. Of protest. Yes. And it lasts for generations as well. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, by now you have probably seen the image of Allah Salah multiple times. And in fact, we heard from her earlier on this program. But have you met the woman who took this image now deemed as iconic. Her name is Lana Hago El Fadil Haroun, and she is a woman to watch. I spoke to her and she told me that she eagerly covered the protests in Sudan because she wanted to control the narrative and ensure that history told the story of the Sudanese revolution through the frame of the Sudanese themselves. So who do you think deserves a shout out? Use the hashtag VOAR voices and tell us who you think is a woman to watch. I'll be looking out for them. Be sure to watch Our Voices on the VOA website where you can find the world's top news stories.